Hello everyone, welcome back to the TCG Dome. We're here with a new deck profile featuring the new Daybreak cards. Um, I took this to the Tuesday casual events for webcam and it performed really well. Um, I went 4-0 and uh, it's featuring Eddie and I'm calling this deck uh, Position Control um, because it's all revolved around changing the position of an Alestra. Um, it's a lot of fun. I was having fun the entire time. It just felt so... It was a control deck that felt also felt aggressive. Um, so not like just sit back while your opponent can't do nothing. And then win the game, this, this deck felt very much of I'm going to tell you what to do, but I'm also going to be aggressive and have fun playing, um, which, you know, in a TCG feels really good. So let's get right into it. We're playing three of the boy, Edward. Um, Edward is really good for probably three reasons, I would say. The first being that it's a four attack. Um, four, I think, is becoming more and more relevant. I know um, in this previous meta, we're coming out of fives being the most important stack ta attack stat. But four is becoming relevant because they're starting to print really good effects for four Elestrals. Um, so just the fact that four can still get over pretty much every defense um, and Eddie having the effect of on cast is the position of an Elestral. There's not much things that this isn't outing. So this is outing Astravis. This is outing any five attack Elestral as well as any high defense Elestral. So Mustation, you know, it's not limited like Tsunami where it only it doesn't affect water. This outs everything while also for the second reason being able, I guess, I guess I mentioned the first and second. The second reason is the uh, the effect of Eddie. And the third reason is the fact that it's a water and a dodger tsunami. So those three things alone make this card really good. Um, and I think this card alone also makes this deck possible because I don't think Earth, I don't think the idea of the deck has enough if a card like Eddie wasn't printed. We have the original, I would say this is kind of like the original Edward um, from base set. We have Sorlet, and Sorlet's effect is to expend one win in order to change the position of Elestral. So it's a little bit different. It's not uncast. Um, Eddie dodges dense fog. Sorlet does not. But the reason why Sorlet still works really well is because of that base 5 attack. So you can, you can use Sorlet in... A bunch of different ways where you can use it with water and dodge tsunami. You can misenchant it with earth or anything like that just to get the five attack stat and just try to get in. Um, you can also, because it's um, you're playing wins, you're also to be able to dodge uh, opponent sorlets and so on and so forth. So having that natural five attack stat as well as the same ability as Edward to get over pretty much anything um still makes it just a really really good card we're playing three elechick and we're playing the three elechick because the rest of the deck is going to be earth so what we're going to be searching with elechick every time which is by far the best thing to do in this deck is going to be getting demeter and you're going to be loading demeter up uh, pretty high so loading Demeter up not only gives you a chance to make Elechick a 7 which can attack over things which isn't as good as Zeus um, but it's still good enough I think in most uh, case scenarios and especially in this deck where every summon is almost outing something and gaining you advantage um, you're not as reliant on a card like Zeus to do it all I think Demeter has multiple use cases too uh, in this deck so it's not just relying on its effect to disenchant and uh, bump, so I think it has multiple uses there um, and makes Demeter a lot more effective. But that's it for the non Earth. So we're playing two Rummagem. Um, I like Rummagem. Uh, I've watched in a, a recent Elestronauts video that Rum they think Rummagem has fallen out of favor because of its weak attack stat. But I think Rummagem is just not so much that it's not good anymore, I think it's just good in certain decks. And I think in this deck in particular, um, it is good because we're not maxing out on Earth Elestrals. Um, we are playing like more like a small Earth Nexus package. So Rummagem makes that more versatile where you, uh, instead of being forced to take whatever the, that you're grabbing, when you have Rummagem, you can bring it out and grab whatever you need. And I think you can afford to take that turn because you're creating so much, you're, you're setting the pace with every other Lester in your deck, I think you're going to take the one turn to bring out a Rummagem and search what you need instead of forcing yourself to deal with whatever you get. 
Um, and then, so what we would be searching with Brumagem is of course two equal links. This is what I'm saying is you like, you could play the third equal links, but there's other earth elestrals that you might want in a situation to out something um, instead of the equal links. So equal links is, I believe the best Nexus elestral post spark it bam. And I think that proved it right. This deck won the last flash ball tournament. So equal links does a really good job of not only setting the pace by destroying counter runes, which I still think this game is very counter rune heavy. I think no one would disagree with me on that. It's also extremely, it, it goes really well with the aggressive part of this, stat, this, um, this deck because it still has that four attack stat and like Demeter's, are, Demeter's usually on the board, different things like that, that it still helps you stay aggressive at the same time of destroying back row. So that's the main, that's like the main goal is that like everything in this deck can help you stay aggressive. I understand that maybe Rummagem doesn't help you stay aggressive, but I, like I said, I think everything else does. So you can take that turn to get what you need instead of forcing yourself to, to play whatever you get handed. So that's why I think playing two Rummagem instead of three equal links has worked. It just worked really well for me. You can definitely do it the other way. We'll just take the Rummagems out and play more of the cards in here, but this is just what I prefer. So the next we're having two Mudlet, uh, the last of our position control cards and probably the most influential uh, Earth card I think to come, but it, I mean also the card that gets paired with it um, out of Daybreak. And Mudlet is a 3-3 that when this Mudlet receives one or more Earth, uh, you can change the position of an Elestral. So it's the same thing as Edward and Sorlet where it's gonna out a lot. It's gonna, it can out Astravit, it can out any of the fives, it can there's not much that it can't out five and four are better for some of the i would say boss monsters of elestrals where their attack stat is more likely to get over um but you're still going to have things like demeter on board so you can still say you're flip it and it's a four defense somehow um you can still demeter mudlet get over um so there's still those lots of options that's the reason why i play mudlet at uh, two though is because of the three attack stat isn't as good as the four and the five and you can also are playing the next copy with it with Rummagem. So if you're in a position where say you need to search one of your position control guys to out an Astra, but you could Rummagem get Mudlet um, go in. Um, but instead if you were playing say three Mudlet three equalings, say if you drew your equalings for turn and you don't have a Demeter and then now, what are you gonna do? You get to wish that I was a Rummagem to get Mudlid to eventually get Ash Rabbit out of, um, off the field. So I prefer it. Um, definitely can play like three. I would say if you're gonna get Rummagem out, you would definitely just play three equal links and three Mudlid, call it a day. Um, the other card that you can consider playing three of is three Clovey. Card was absolutely incredible. I think there was one or two games on Tuesday night where I drew three cards off Clovey making it as you can see i'm not playing ast rabbit so i think it's in this deck given the new earth rune that came out uh clovey might honestly be better than ast rabbit in this deck in particular because you're going to gain way more card advantage than trying to reproc um ast rabbit's effect over and over again you're going to way easier get clovey's effect more than once off than you are Astrabbit's effect off. I understand that it has a four attack stat. So when you're playing against fives, that doesn't feel great. But you got to remember we're playing position control. So we have runes face down that are, are going to give us another turn with Clovey. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, this was kind of a silly card. I just wanted to try it out. I would definitely switch it out for something, but it was Tectorus. Um, I like Tech Taurus because in a situation where you just need a high attack stat, you can just realistically search for it either with Rummagem, and then if you have the Demeter on board, you bring it out. Um, but I was, I would definitely cut this card because why would you need it when you have position control cards that kind of do the same thing that you want Tech Taurus to do? I tried it out because it was casuals, and I was like, well, let's just see how it goes. But it was fun to, it was fun to mess around with, but definitely uh, cuttable. That's going to be it for the Elestrals. Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Um, nothing too crazy here either. The three Earthquake, pretty standard. 
it's the best removal in the game and if you're playing earth you better throw three of these in because this card is just going to help you out so many problematic things um, and keep that pace where if your elestrals aren't outing ash rabbit earthquake it get it off the board keep that tempo and then keep pushing forward and then we are going to be playing three demeter i've seen some people cut down to two regular earth builds um, especially the uh, Earth build that Bean just won with the last Frostfall tournament. My deck in particular, I'm playing three because I'm not playing Feloy Forest. And Demeter is going to be way better in this deck than Feloy Forest is as far as Nexusing goes because you can get multiple spirits onto the board quickly and you have now two counter runes that are Nexusing Earth in particular. So you really want the board to be filled with Earth and Demeter is going to do that way better than Feloy Forest can. Um, the next we are playing the Two Bloom. This is the card that kind of, I think, really pushes this deck ahead and makes it viable. Bloom says you can Nexus one Earth, and then if you do, you may enchant an Earth to an Elestral on your field. So what you're going to do is, one, this activates Clovey. This can be pretty much a Pot of Greed if you have Demeter and Clovey up where you're just gonna you're gonna nexus and then you're gonna enchant so you're gonna draw two um, but what it really works well with is mudlet so if say if you're going to the battle phase and you're um you could you can bloom and pretty much change two celestials to either a defense or attack uh, depending on what you need but also what it does is it gives you even more time to play around tsunami so say if your whole entire board gets tsunamied, then you could still bloom, do this twice, either bring this to the defense, or you could bring Tectoris or Equilinks or Elechik or Sorlet. You can bring any of your Elestrals to attack as well. So you can kind of reposition that. And that's where I think two cards to obviously consider that you can guess, like they aren't here, but you can see that they would work pretty well is either viscerous or must moss station i think moss station is a little bit better because i don't know how i would fit three viscerous into this deck without changing the deck completely um so you could change this tech taurus and you could potentially like you could cut even one rummagem um you could cut a rummagem and then add in two moss stations and then you could just have the the one rummagem you have be kind of the pseudo third copy of your three different less like you could have it be a pseudo copy of mudlet uh equal links and moss station and that way you're playing two of each so you're still likely to see it but when you get that rummage gem you're going to get exactly what you need and then you know that you're not getting any more rummage gems for the rest of the game um so that's a definitely a possible option as well something that i'll probably mess around with the reason why i'm only playing two is because when you don't have these cards this card's dead so you don't want to brick on this because that will happen um, by playing it. I've tried three. Um, every time I play three, there, it's usually like I'm only really getting off one. If I'm lucky, I'm getting off two. So I think two is definitely the correct ratio. I have the best card, um, the most fun card, the card that I think really makes Elestrals uh, the game that it is, and that's Altar of Stars. I wanna, I'm going to come out with a video on just the sheer possibilities that you have with this card alone just in general in any nexus style deck Altar of stars is just like i think it's like the golden child of elestrals like this card is just so fun and cool to play with that i don't get how anybody could not just appreciate the versatility and the greatness of this card and especially in a deck like this where now you have cards like Clovey and Mudlet, and you're already playing position control with everything else. You know you're gonna alter. Pro, you're gonna. It's gonna be able to draw you one and save Clovey. Um, so you're pretty much getting a rabbit effect off with that, and you could even get Clovey again. And there's just so many possibilities with it. And then Mudlet is just like another. You're gonna alter, alter onto Mudlet. So now you're getting two. You're gonna change two Elestral's positions. And then now you can change it to attack. You could, if they've got two Elestrals on the field, um, they can both go to defense. Like, 
there's just there's so many options for you when it comes to alter now and it's all revolving around the same thing of changing a position uh, Elestral's position but after that we are playing the three tsunamis tsunami is starting to feel worse and worse especially with the water boards and the fives playing it but until the meta is defined and especially in this deck where it's position control like you want to play this at three you're playing a, f a sufficient amount of water spirits with a card like eddie where this card you take the game one like if this card is dead for you game one you still have a chance of winning because i'm still controlling your like this just being dead sucks but also it just comes out the next game and i still have a chance to win uh the best of three um, the next is going to be pretty straightforward three ambrosia three gorgon skays and then two poison tipped arrow um i'm fine with two poison tipped arrow and then you don't see shield in here and that's because shield can just be a card that you replace for tsunami um, but because you have card like bloom and you are already kind of having a different strategy i think shield for me personally is the card that gets cut um, you can make the argument for put like shield being in over poison tipped arrow but i personally like uh, poison tipped arrow because it's more removal and because earthquake is the only like true removal that I have. Um, I like having that secondary option in Poison Tipped Arrow. And then if I go first, I'm probably just going to side in uh, the third Poison Tipped Arrow and just do it that way. Uh, okay, so I just kind of wanted to lay out the deck that I showed you was the deck profile, like exactly how I played it on Tuesday night when it went 4 0. Oh, but I am going to be switching up just two cards. I am going to try playing the two Moss Station and the one Rummagem. Okay. Um, and that's it for the deck profile. Sorry for the abrupt ending there. The cutting got kind of weird. Just want to say thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I get a little ranty or repeat myself. I'm going to work on condensing these and making them just a little bit higher quality and a little bit easier to digest and take in if you're just looking for a quick deck profile but i just want to hear from everyone what everyone else is excited for this has been the deck that i've been the most excited playing so i'm looking forward to showing you everything else that i've been brainstorming coming up with and i'm just so happy to collaborate and work with everyone and just have beautiful conversations with people in this community so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And if you haven't, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, all that good stuff. Give me feedback on things that I can do better. How's the content going? Any ideas that you want to see from us? Any feedback that we can get to help improve, I would much appreciate. So thank you all and have a great day.